Hey guys, a new AKM is out. AKM, if you update it, of course, I update your systems and then you get, well, this is my shortcut. I type it always, but it's of course an application. So it goes in a menu somewhere. Kernel is probably enough or like Arch Linux Kernel Manager, right? That's the name. In short, AKM. So you can launch it like this as well. So we see the code that it provides. And it will get, the first time around, it will get every single kernel that's available on the internet. And the thing that I've made in recent videos, let's have a look. The recent videos about kernels was video 4397 and 4398. It's all about kernels. And if you have, if you look at the community thing, that's basically not Arch, right? Unofficial kernels. This is all official kernels. This is all the official ones. Can cannot find any supported, etc. Then you have not opened, for example, chaotic AOR. You can add more things to it. But we have something called Tohl chaotic repo, right? If you now launch AKM in the pacman.conf, we have an extra line that says, hey, there are packages from chaotic AOR. So I've added a few more. Now we have 10 available kernels. Again, if you rewatch the videos of 4398 and 4397, um, let's see. I've added Linux Cache OS LTS, I think, Linux Clear, Liquorix, the mainline, Nitrius, Xenmod Edge X464 version 3, Xenmod LTS, Xenmod RT, and Xenmod X64 version 2. So there are new kernels, basically, if you can, if you want to try. But remember, kernels are tricky. See that you can get out of it. I mean, if it won't launch, there's a problem. You need to be able to get to TTY, black screen, right? And then say again, remove that particular kernel. And that happens, right? Because kernels, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a layer in between the operating system and your hardware. So if it's somewhere uh, breaks, then you know it's your own doing, right? You try that out, for instance, in a virtual machine, but it's not really a test, probably gonna work in virtual machines, but it is, on real metal that um, the danger uh, will, will start, right? And then make sure that you can get out, make sure you test it out on something that's clean, clean after a clean install is actually a best way. Nothing personal is yet there, no, no configuration, you did not spend time tuning it. After clean install, that's the moment that you try a kernel and say, okay, Let's see if this is better than the official ones like the, the guys up here, Linux, Linux LTS. Now, if you have already, uh, if you had already used AKM, uh, make sure that the config Arch Linux kernel one, this one, that this one is empty, remove it or change it from name. Uh, sometimes we make a copy and then delete it and restart it again. And at that particular moment in time, it's gonna make that particular file, right? So it's gonna make a file if you launch it from scratch and it will write it away. It will write this away. So in here, and that's over here, voila. It will basically make a list, right? Linux, Linux LTS, the Zen, the hardened RT, and the RT LTS, but this has, well, got a new list. So extra things are in here, clear, Liquorix, the mainline, Nitrius, etc. So that's um, new and ready to be tested out by you guys. All right, cheers.